Each year, a package of distorted resolutions, completely detached from reality, is passed here at the UN, singling out and condemning Israel, the only vibrant liberal democracy in the Middle East. These resolutions are all based on blatant fabrications, and the only outcome is that they perpetuate the conflict and make matters on the ground far worse. By supporting the Palestinians' abhorrent lies and distortions, you show the Palestinians that they can continue spreading their culture of hatred and violence while denying Israel's right to exist as a Jewish state. As long as you buy into the Palestinians' falsehoods and automatically support all of their dangerous resolutions, you ensure that they will never make any concessions which are essential for reconciliation and peace. Never. And due to the support of the immoral, politicized, anti-Israel majority here at the UN, they continue to believe that Israel will be forced to surrender to their radicalism and hate. But make no mistake, this won't happen. Never. No biased external body will endanger Israel's future. Colleagues, the Palestinians are not interested in peace. They have never been interested in peace. The Palestinians are interested in one thing, and one thing only, the destruction of the Jewish state by any means, be it terror, hate, or delegitimization. We saw this from the moment that this institution voted in favor of establishing a Jewish state 75 years ago, when the Palestinians immediately rejected the plan and attempted to murder all of the Jews in Israel. And we saw this continue as the Palestinians rejected every peace plan ever presented, every initiative ever raised, no matter by which government or American administration has been rejected by the Palestinians outright. The Palestinians' serial rejectionism and support for terror are the only barriers to peace. Nevertheless, here we are once again raising the same counterproductive resolutions that support the Palestinians' destructive approach. But friends, this resolution is different. Now the UN is about to hammer the final nail in the coffin, closing the door to any hope for, for future progress. The resolution before us today presents a poisonous measure, the involvement of the International Court of Justice, the Palestinians, are exploiting the ICJ as a weapon of mass destruction in their jihad war of Israel demonization. By co-opting the ICJ in adjudicating on these lies, the Palestinians, with your help, are setting this conflict on a suicidal crash course to a point of no return. Don't say that you were not warned. By weaponizing an international body to force Israel to submit to all of their outrageous demands, the Palestinians are destroying any chances for future dialogue. Any chances. Unilateral Palestinian steps will be met by unilateral steps. Israel must defend itself against threats, and we will. Distinguished colleagues, how is it that some of you choose to play a role every year in this Palestinian charade? It was just last year when President Abbas made this threat clear from the UN's podium, in yet another show of rejectionism, refusal, and detachment from reality, Abbas presented an ultimatum in the General Assembly. He threatened Israel that we have one year, one year to concede to all of his destructive demands, without any call for negotiations or mutual concessions, or he would turn to the ICJ. Ultimatums do not facilitate reconciliation, just as incitement, violence, and funding terrorists do not facilitate reconciliation. What has Abbas and the Palestinians spent the last year doing? Have they stopped paying hundreds of millions of dollars to terrorists? 
Have they stopped spreading incitement and hate? Have they stopped glorifying murder? No, no, and no. Only in the last 11 months, there have been nearly 5,000 Palestinian terror attacks perpetrated against Israelis. And this latest act involving the ICJ does even more damage than merely inflaming the conflict. conflict. It stabs a knife in the heart of any hope for progress. Abbas's only intention with this escalator, escalatory action is to cause further damage to Israel. But what he is also doing is causing further damage to the Palestinians, the people who he does not even represent. This resolution may threaten Israel, but it primarily harms the Palestinians. Remember this when you choose to support it. You all know that the Palestinian Authority has no control over Gaza. And it's, it is no secret that the only reason Abbas has continuously canceled elections for the past 17 or 18 years is because he knows that the overwhelming majority of Palestinians do not support him. This man is harming any chance of a brighter future for the Palestinian people, and he doesn't even represent them. And still, some of you choose to continue blindly supporting him. What a disgrace. But let me make something very clear. Weaponizing an external body, such as the ICJ, to impose the Palestinian twisted reality on Israel is doomed to fail. And you all know this. Think twice before agreeing to become President Abbas marionettes. No entity will force Israel to endanger its future and security. And no one can dictate that the Jewish people are colonizing our own ancestral homeland. No one. This resolution, along with all of the other distorted Palestinian resolutions, are complete falsehoods and do not represent the reality on the ground. Israel is a peace-seeking nation. This is a fact. Six Muslim countries have already signed peace agreements with Israel. Meanwhile, the Palestinians refer to these agreements as a stab in the back. When there is tolerance and not hate, cooperation and not incitement, coexistence and not terror, we can create a better future. But this is not the Palestinians' modus operandi. They prefer to strengthen these barriers of hatred while destroying any real chances for progress. So, colleagues, until the Palestinians' destructive practices, the true obstacle to peace are addressed, until these dangerous Palestinian practices are condemned, reconciliation is impossible. By involving the ICJ, any hopes for, rec for reconciliation are being driven off a cliff. Mr. Chair, any member state that chooses to support such an unprecedented escalation only serves the Palestinians' true goal, eviscerating the state of Israel. The supporters of such resolutions are marionettes in the Palestinians' fatal charade. By backing the Palestinians' libelous resolutions, you endorse incitement and terror. But by supporting this particular resolution, you destroy any possibility for progress. Thank you, Mr. President. I thank 